The Ultimate Guide to Caring for Your Ogre Ear Succulent In the verdant realm of houseplants, the Ogre Ear Succulent, or Crassula ovata, Gollum, stands as a beacon of whimsy and wonder. Its tubular, green leaves, reminiscent of the ears of mythical creatures, not only give it its name but also its distinctive place in the hearts of succulent lovers. The Ogre Ear Succulent, known scientifically as Crassula ovata, Gollum, is a cultivar of the jade plant family. It's a succulent with a twist, featuring unique, tubular leaves that end in a concave tip, much like the ears of the fabled ogre. Native to South Africa, this plant has adapted to store water within its thick, lustrous leaves, allowing it to withstand periods of drought. This survival mechanism makes it an ideal plant for those seeking a low-maintenance yet striking botanical companion. Caring for an ogre ear succulent is a rewarding endeavor. It requires a balance of sunlight, water, and nutrients to flourish. Place your plant in a location where it can bask in the morning sun but is shielded from the harsh afternoon rays. Watering should be done judiciously. Allow the soil to dry out completely between waterings to prevent root rot. A well-draining soil mix, designed specifically for succulents, will provide the ideal environment for your plant's roots. Fertilization is not frequently required, but a balanced, water-soluble fertilizer can be used sparingly during the growing season to give your plant a boost. In optimal conditions, the ogre ear succulent can grow to be quite substantial. Mature plants can reach heights of up to 3 feet 90 centimeters, and spread out to 2 feet 60 centimeters, wide. The ogre ear plant's scientific name, Crassula ovata, Gollum, pays homage to its jade plant lineage, Crassula ovata, and the fictional character Gollum, due to the plant's resemblance to the character's distinctive ears. Common names like ogre ear or Gollum jade are used interchangeably among enthusiasts and in horticultural circles. Light is a crucial factor in the health of a Gollum jade plant. It thrives in bright and direct light with a preference for the gentler rays of the morning sun. While it can tolerate partial shade, too little light can lead to etiolation, where the plant becomes leggy as it stretches toward the light source. Propagation of the ogre ear succulent is a straightforward process that can be achieved through leaf or stem cuttings. Stem cuttings tend to root more easily and grow more quickly than leaf cuttings, making them a popular choice for beginners. Even the hardiest plants can encounter issues, and the ogre ear succulent is no exception. Pests like mealybugs and spider mites can be deterred with regular inspections and prompt treatment. Overwatering is a common pitfall that can lead to root rot, so ensuring your plant has proper drainage is key. Environmental stressors, such as sudden temperature changes, should also be avoided to keep your plant in good health. Selecting the right pot for your ogre ear succulent is not just a practical concern but also an aesthetic one. A pot that complements the unique shape and color of your plant can enhance its appearance. The ogre ear succulent has made its mark not only in gardens but also in popular culture and interior design. Its distinctive appearance has inspired comparisons to characters from The Lord of the Rings and Shrek, making it a playful addition to any space. Please visit asucculent.com to read more.